I got fired from CVS and I'm still mad about it to this day. To this day, even though this was six years ago, I still only shop at Walgreens and I'm going to tell you why. Because fuck CVS. Let me explain. So when I was 19, I was working at CVS, putting in overtime. I made all the clearance signs by hand, unpaid, on my own time. Loved that company. Loved my job. And during my training, you know how you get like the extra care bucks? Like they print out on your receipt, or at least they did at the time. And I was told if somebody doesn't have a phone number with CVS, you can put in your own phone number. So I did that every time. And I acquired the extra care bucks. And it wasn't a lot. It was maybe like five six bucks like once a month or like once a quarter I don't remember it was nothing but I spent them it's like a coupon and one day corporate came in district manager came in and they called me into the office and I was not aware that this was not allowed with the company so when they asked me if somebody doesn't have an extra care number do you ever put your own phone number in and I was like yes every single time and they were like you can't do that like that's not allowed that's theft and I was like Well, that's how I was trained, and their minds were blown. And they said, that's not how you were trained. Nobody else at this store uses their personal phone number to get money back. And I said, of course they don't. They use the Jenny Craig number. It's like the thing in the store. And they were like, again, I don't know how they didn't catch on to that. Anyways, they fired me, accused me of theft, and then sent me a bill in the mail to CVS saying I owed $36. Fuck out of here. You're a billion-dollar company. I didn't pay it. Um, anyways, I went to CVS, like the same CVS, maybe like five months ago, and they still have my same clearance sign that I made by hand painted. So I took that shit. Fuck CVS.